Hi, I'm George Lockhart, EDD7123, Digital Media. My term is Podsafe. Podsafe is a term created in the podcasting community to refer to any work which, through its licensing, specifically allows the use of the work in podcasting, regardless of restrictions the same work might have in other realms. A song may be legal to use in podcasts, but may need to be purchased or have royalties paid for over-the-air radio use, television use, and possibly personal use. Podsafe purchasing the music from a source grants you a license to use the music in non-commercial audio and video podcasts. For example, the song you're listening to now is Atlas Plug, Around the World. This professional cut is Podsafe and is being used in this podcast. If I wanted to explore this music further, such as in a movie score, radio, or TV, permission would have to be granted and maybe royalties issued to Atlas Plug. However, if I were to use Steely Dan's Peg in any medium, request permission to use the music by contacting the publisher for printed music or music licensing agency for recordings must be performed. It is not easy to get your music into rotation of public radio or television. This can present a difficult obstacle for an inspiring musician or media artist which may involve money and surrender in creative freedom. Conversely, podcasting, a growing medium for audio programs, is a receptive alternative for struggling artists. The first step in making a podcast is the creation of the audio file. When making your music from another source or cover tune, it is critical to respect copyright law. You may want to consider using a Podsafe music source such as Podsafe Music Network or PMN. As stated earlier, the effective definition of Podsafe for a given work depends how the contract is written for there is no template for a Podsafe license. Software programs such as GarageBand offer a useful selection of copyright-free sounds and jingles. Here's an example by Monster Boy. Another issue is that all podcasts are non-commercial works. In fact, podcasters are assuming sponsors looking to make a profit. It should be noted that no significant distinction is made between Podsafe for non-commercial use and Podsafe for commercial use. That is soon to change. Many works are Podsafe and the only actual requirement for a work to be Podsafe is that any licensing requirements it has allow for the works free use in podcasts or web broadcasts. This method favors the podcaster or artist to impose constraints on everyone else. The licensor of any Podsafe work must be legally capable of making it so. An artist cannot distribute his or her own work through a Podsafe license if doing so would break any laws or breach any standing agreements with the Record Industry Association of America or the RIAA. It is a trust that represents the recording industry distributors in the United States. The Podsafe Music Network or PMN has more specific and stringent terms to this effect in its agreement. The PMN network is the largest database to date. Podcasting has a foothold on the music industry. A user still should register to podcast in order to download music, but it is free to do so. Certain podcast sites are only useful for those who plan to download However, one can listen to any song on the site without registering, in a variety from comedy to mute music to heavier rock sounds are available. And thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Charlie Chris. The use of David Byrne's song and his voice in my campaign, advertisement without his permission, was wrong and should not have occurred. I sincerely apologize to David Byrne for using his famous song and his unique voice in my campaign advertisement without his permission.